Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, an absolutely Renban packed puzzle to do today. We'll look at that in a minute. Don't forget that on Patreon you can do Jay Dyer's unbelievable numeric alchemy hunt. Well, I say you can do it. You can do it if you're brilliant. It's hard. It's really hard and it gets harder. Actually, bear in mind, puzzle one is the hardest of the first five. If you can get through that, you can get through the first five and enter the competition. Um, if you can get through those five, you will be skilled enough to get through the other ten and get your name read out by Simon on the channel. But they get harder and harder. That is my view. It's a brilliant hunt though. Please check it out. Um, and we've still got five days left on the Fistum of Hell hunt. If you haven't started it, good luck to you getting that done in five days. Um, it's brilliant stuff. We're so grateful to Fistum of Hell and Jedi for providing these. They definitely make being a Patreon on this channel rewarding. Um, now, there is also, of course, our app. There are our apps and uh, and a bit of streaming. If you haven't seen that we streamed last night, that's a video you might want to or vod you might want to watch at some point. Um, and Simon was playing Taiji, a, a computer game that was a bit like The Witness. I have to admit, I say Simon was playing it. I did jump in a bit uh, in the second half of the program and uh, help out where I could, although. At first, I was more hindrance than help, I think. Anyway, that is all available on the channel, um, along with all kinds of other things. Don't forget our catalogue. Um, if you look on the community tab and you go some way back, you'll find our guidance for submissions um, if you want to send us a puzzle that we might solve on the channel. We do get about 10 a day, so the odds are slim. Um, but... Dad Jokes has bucked the odds. We've featured Dad Jokes before. He claimed he was doing, um, hoping to get featured on the channel to look cooler to his kids. Um, that's not, well, I don't think it works. He claims it does, but uh, this dad says that can't be, that can't be the only reason you're doing these puzzles because they're brilliant. Um, and this one is called Petroglyph. Now, I'm going to go through the rules and there's an important rule that you may not get from just looking at the grid. So, Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, every column, and every box. Um, now, there's an anti-knight move. This was what I was talking about. An anti-knight restriction, sorry. This was what I was talking about as um, the thing that's not obvious from looking at the grid. Actually, there's another thing that's not obvious from looking at the grid. So, anti-knight means that one, because it's in this cell in row eight, column eight, can't be in these highlighted cells because they are a chess knight's move away from one. That's how a knight moves in chess. One in one direction and two in a perpendicular one. Um, so those digits I highlighted can't be one. And the anti-knight applies to all digits throughout the puzzle. And with this amount of marking in the grid, I might forget it at some point. <laughs> I hope not. Now, the Renban rule for the purple lines or magenta lines is that each of them contains a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. Um, now, there is another added rule that lines do not turn at intersections. So where you're seeing two lines meet, uh, there's a straight on rule. So that is one line there. This line goes straight through that junction, straight through that one, straight through that one. This line is running like that. Um, so though those rules are important. You might have guessed that. Uh, there is a crop key rule because there are two black dots and the cells on those, the cells on each domino marked by a black dot. Uh, one is double the value of the other. And that's it. Not all dots are shown. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to start now by restarting my clock. Let's get cracking. So one of the things to note is this region I highlighted is this, sorry, I called it a region. This line I highlighted is an extra region. It's nine cells long, so that must contain all of the digits from one to nine. I think this is as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we'll make that yellow. This one blue, there is an overlap, obviously. 
And those all act as extra regions, which is why I've highlighted them. I think that might be useful to appreciate, to realize, to factor in. Yeah, let's let's consider blue and yellow versus these two regions. A little bit of very mini set theory. Um, if you consider Simon's Scrabble bags and in his blue Scrabble bag you put all the yellow pieces but in your other Scrabble bag you have all the same pieces so you have blue and yellow's pieces they are the digits one to nine twice each although they're not because there's this overlap cell right but I'm still going to measure blue and yellow against these two regions which must contain one to nine twice because that's the rule about a region. Now, what is the difference between those two regions and blue and yellow? Well, it is these four cells in one case and these three cells in, a, in the other, but of course this one counts twice. So I think these four cells have to be the same as these three cells plus row six, column six again. And look, by Knight's move, which I have remembered now, this one can't be there or there. So I'm going to use the pen tool. Um, I could do more coloring, but it, it would be getting, well, it is getting confusing possibly already. So let's call that circle. Where does circle appear in box six? This is what I finally understood. Circle doesn't appear on blue because it's already on blue. It doesn't appear on yellow because it's already on yellow. And it doesn't appear in row four, column seven, because that's a knight's move away from the already placed circle. So circle is there. Same deal applies in box eight. It can't be here. It's not on blue or yellow. So it's there. So that's a repeating digit. Um, and there might be more. Where does... Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, those two digits are the same as those two by the same set theory business. But I, that one could be either there or there. So it's not really very easy to mark. So I don't know. Maybe that wasn't a great place to start. We found something out about circle, at least. Unfortunately, it's not very restricted down here. It could still be in any of those four cells, any of these four corner cells, any of those. It didn't really do the job I was thinking. Um, but I do see another cell. I do see another cell. Yeah, and the lesson I was learning there, at least, is that with these extra regions, Certain digits are ruled out of a lot of cells because that circle couldn't have been in any other yellow or blue cell. Now, look at this one. I'm going to call this cross, I think. There we go. So where is cross in box two? And that's quite nice. Well, almost, but I mean, it's interesting because cross obviously can't be in these cells but by Sudoku rules and by this Renban rule it can't repeat on the green so it's not in those so cross has to be in one of those two cells I'm not sure which one the same applies in box four it's in one of those two. Oh, it's beautiful yes where does cross go in the central box oh that's lovely look one of these means it's not in those cells. One of these means it's not in these cells. It's by night's move, it's not in those two places. And because it's on this three cell Renban pointing into box five, it's not there. So we know exactly where cross is in the central box. It's in the central cell of the central box. There we go. That's a cross. OK, now I've got a very nice idea. Where does cross go in yellow? Look, those two cells rule out all of those. That one rules out all of those. So cross is here in yellow. Isn't it? Yes, it is. And in blue, it's here. 
Okay, so we're getting a fix on cross, more even than on circle. Now, where else for cross? Ah, ah, look at box three. Cross can't go there. Now, this is one of these... Oh, bother. It's one of these knight's move things. Cross can't go there or there either. And the reason for that is because... Oh, there's a cross here. I didn't spot it. This is brilliant. Right. Cross can't go in any of those. Cross can't go in either of those because wherever cross is here, it will see one of those, either by regular horizontal Sudoku or by knight's move. So cross is now ruled out of all of those places. And in box three, cross is now either here or here. So we've got a little two by two, which includes two crosses. I think the same is going on. It is in box seven. And this is, this is better still. Cross is ruled out of all those by regular Sudoku. Those two by this um, knight's move position. So it's in one of these two. And what is the feature of those two cells? It is the black dot. So cross is on that black dot. Oh, bingo! Look where cross has gone in box nine. Look, it's here. That's cross. Because we've got a pair looking down column seven and that. We've got a pair looking across row seven and that. All of those are ruled out. There it is. Cross is one. Which is great, because now I can get rid of all these crosses. Um, let me just memorize where I'm doing that and fill in ones. Okay, hang on a sec. That was here, 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 and here. They're all ones. And let's do it. Sound like Victoria Cro Victoria Wood. <laughs> oh, Victoria Cross, I'm losing my mind. Um, right, in these two by twos, you just have to be a bit careful using the software. We've got one, we've got two sets of ones in each of those two by twos. So we've got a one on that pair, and that is now a one two pair. And that's a start. I've, I've been wondering as we've gone along, how am I ever going to get any other digits apart from this given one? Am I going to have to disambiguate the rest just using the black dots? Oh, of course, the Renban lines will do it a bit, but it feels to me like that's a little difficult and confusing. Oh, this is now a one on this three cell Renban. So the others are two and three. Oh, they see a lot of things together. They see that cell. They both see that. That one by regular, that one by knight's move. They both see that. They both see that. They both see that. So this little trident prong here is a set that comes from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would take a lot of pencil marking. Oh, they both see these. Oh, no, look. Hang on, hang on. They both see all of these and all of these. Oh, this is weird. They see an awful lot of cells together. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Which green cells do both of these see? And the answer is all of these cells. If you look into all of those cells, you'll see that they are seen either by regular Sudoku or by Knight's Move by each of the two and three on this on this tiny and incredibly helpful Renban line of one, two, three. Therefore, the two and three in green on the on the green Renban line are here and here, and the two is not here because of this one, two pair, and we've got more digits in the grid that aren't ones. We get a three there, we get a two there, Somehow that doesn't disambiguate this two and three. I thought it was definitely going to. Ah, that two is very good because now this can't be a one. It would be on the black dot and need a two there. So if that's not a one, then these two are ones. Um, I was going to say all our ones are finished, but they're not down here. This is now either three, four or six, eight on the black dot because it can't have a one or a two two on what else have we achieved oh i'll tell you what three yeah that's interesting 
This this is either interesting or very interesting. Three, where is three in yellow? It is not in those cells because of this three that we've placed here. Therefore, three in yellow is in one of these. Now, where is three in box two? It's not in green because we've placed the three in green. It's not in those cells because of where three has to be in yellow. So it's in one of these two. And I think we've worked out it can't be here because that sees both two and three. Ha ha. So that is three. That is on this tiny little, well, this four cell Renban. So that's got a four and a five on definitely. It could have a two. I mean, sym symmetry suggests this is going to be a two. Let's do the same thing with two and blue. Uh, two can't be there, so two's in one of those cells on in blue. So it's not here, it's not in green, so it's in one of these two. And we've worked out it can't be here because that sees both of those cells. So that's not a two. Two is there, that's also on this line, which now needs a four or five because it clearly can't have a one on. And I still don't know the value of this two and three, which one is which. Oh, hang on. Um, that three says that those can't be threes. That one says that that can't be. So threes in one of those cells. Twos similarly in one of those. Oh, oh two is looking at this one two pair. So all our ones are done. Um, ah, and these can't be two now. So two is there. Two is on that tiny ren band three at the other end threes in one of those cells so this is not a three six black dot it's a four eight oh, this is a very very clever puzzle now this is not three could still be two could two be in the circles i think it could i wonder if it is um I don't know how to tell. Now, hang on, where's two? Ah, where's two in yellow? That is now not here. Um, it could be there or in one of those two. What about this four, five? Are they interesting? What do they see? They both see that cell and that cell. I don't know. Two's in one of... Oh! Ah! Two is in one of these cells. That's not the interesting part. But it's not on this Renban. Where is three in this box? Ah, in fact, okay, even if it's simpler, first question, what even digit is on this Renban? If it can't be two and it can't be four and eight, it needs an even digit on a two cell Renban. It must be six. So where does three go in the box? Now we can fill it in. It must be there. These are from two, five, seven and nine. That three doesn't really do much, does it? Three can't be in any of those cells or those. So in box six, three is now in one of those on the blue, which doesn't really affect anything. We knew it was in one of these. Rules out that cell as well as those. No, not that helpful. This can't have a two on it, this Renban, because it can't have a three on it. Simple enough. So two's now in one of those two. Five, seven, or nine. This is kind of upping the ante a bit. Ah, that can't be four or five because they're both in the box, obviously. It can't be two either because in yellow, two's in one of those. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. Oh.
don't know, four and five look quite interesting suddenly, because where do they go in green? Where does this one go? It can't go in any of those cells. And this one similarly can't go in any of those. Well, it's not actually conclusive. Okay, maybe that's not what to think about. Two, one, three... I don't want to grind to a halt now. Come on, keep thinking. This this trident hasn't got interesting. It just doesn't have one, two, and three on it, as I knew from virtually the word go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Okay, I'm going to colour... I'm not changing the colours yet. I'm going to colour that orange. Where does orange 4 or 5 go in yellow? That's a nice question. goes in one of these three cells. And then where does it go in column 5? And the only answer is here. So that is orange. I'm tempted to get rid of all the green colouring now, I have to say. Let's do that. Um, and I might get rid of yellow and blue in a minute, although they're actually a bit helpful at the moment. So orange is in one of those, and it's now here. This one must be the same story. Let's make that green, since I've freed that up now. Where is green in blue? It's in one of those three cells. Where is it in row five? It's there. So these other cells are six, seven, eight, and nine on the old formerly green nine-cell extra region Renban. Now, can we keep going with four and five? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Not sure. One of those is orange, one of those is green. I don't know, I thought this was an appealing... Oh, I'll tell you what, um, that can't be orange or green, that can't be orange or green. Oh, where's green in this box? It's not in any of those cells, or that one, because it's four or five, and it can't be a knight's move away from there. So it's green is in one of those two. Oh, that's nearly very helpful. And orange is in one of those two, similarly, in box four. I feel like I'm right onto something now. It doesn't quite do it. Um, oh, look, four and five are both looking at that. So that is now higher stakes. It's not, well, I suppose this could still be a 7654 even, which seems incredibly unlikely. Now, orange is down here somewhere. What? Oh, and orange is in one of these two. So now orange is somewhere here and here. I don't know. I feel like these fours and fives are very important. But I don't quite know how. Oh, yes I do. Do I? Yes, the circle is not orange or green, because there's a circle in box five with both orange and green. So that's not four or five. So... None of those are four or five. Can that be green or well, this? Oh no, it's that. It's that I'm interested in. Ah, I suppose it could be orange in row four and green in column four. Although, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm confusing myself there, and I don't think to any gainful end. So got to think of something slightly different to do. That's weird. It's a weird puzzle at this stage. Now, look. 3, 4, 5, 2, 1. 
including the pair in that region. Ah, yellow is six, seven, eight, nine there. So let's do that with blue as well. Yes, two, one, two, three, four, five up there. Blue is six, seven, eight, nine here. Now, have I said that these can't include a two? Don't think I have. In fact, I think I said one of those is a two. Now, this is a these are all two, three, four, five on yellow and blue. What can I do with that? Oh no, 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 I'm gonna do something else with this. I'm gonna say that the circle the circle, which is the same in all three places, is not six, seven, eight, or nine, because all of those blue cells see that circle. So the circle is not six, seven, eight, nine. It's not one or three. It's not four or five, because they're both in the central box with a circle. So the circle becomes two, which I actually suspected a while ago. Excellent. Right. That has got to help. Let's get rid of the old circles now, because they've done the job. Now, the last two in the grid goes here. Is that right? I think we've got them all. Yeah. Right, this is now a 345 set. This is a 345 set for the blue line. This is 6, 7, 8, or 9. This is 6, 7, 8, or 9 for the boxes. I'm going to get rid of the blue and yellow colouring now because it has effectively done its job. Now I can focus on these greens and oranges. That is 6, 7, or 8, or 9 because we've used 4, 5 in the central box. We've got 3, 4, 5 used here. So I'm filling in more 6, 7, 8, 9s. And now we know that these two cells are not 4 or 5 by Sudoku. So that becomes green, that becomes orange, that's a 4-5 pair on this Trident Renban, which now needs a 6-7 pair, because these can't be 2 or 3, that's right. Now I'm going to get to colour 6s and 7s, I suppose. Or can I keep going with... Yeah, look. Where does green go in box 1? Um, for it can only be in those by the pencil marking. It can't be there or there by Knight's Move or there by Ordinary Sudoku. So green's in one of those two cells. Then it's going to be in one of those. The Knight's Move stops it being here. In fact, that sees both colours of 4, 5. So, oh look, both of these little Ren bands are 6, 7, 8, 9 Ren bands. And I know every digit that goes on every Renban, actually, apart from these two little scars in the corners. Um, where's orange here? Not in any of those cells or that one. Orange is in one of those two. So orange, four or five, has to be here in row three. Yeah, I and mean, then the simpler question would be, where is orange in row three? And the only available place is here, and it is a five. So orange is five. That's quite handy. Green is four. Well, I hope it's handy. That doesn't help any of the Ren bands I've actually populated so far, but I'm guessing it'll be handy. Um, one of those is a four... That can't be three, so that's eight or nine. Can't be six or seven, they're both in the box. Okay, I'm gonna start coloring sixes and sevens. Let's do yellow and red. I don't know if this is gonna go very far yet. It might not. It might go literally nowhere at the moment, but I have a feeling it's gonna be absolutely necessary very soon. Um. Okay, I'm... <laughs> Nothing yet. I'll come back to you on yellow and red. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's nonsense. Um, one of these is a five. Wow, I mean, I can't do any more with green and orange. That's really annoying. Well, hang on. That means, yes, where's orange in this row? Actually, that's very neat. 
it can't be there or there because it's in one of those two positions and they both see those including the knight's move can't be there because of that five so this is orange and is five in whatever row we're in row seven and that doesn't fix those two it doesn't even impact this box at all but it is true so we've got a three four pair here this now can't be either of those so it's not one two three four or five it's big um, does this have to be four for some reason I don't see it I'm just thinking about the symmetry to be honest one of these is a four I'll tell you what that means that does mean something interesting one of these is a four and one of these is a four now why why is that interesting because there's a certain pattern that appears here. Four can't be in both of those cells, so it must be in one of these sort of wing cells. And if it's there, it sees both of these and has to be in column eight. And if it's here, it sees both of these and has to be in column eight. So whichever one is in one of these wing cells is going to put the other four in column eight, and that can't be a four at the top. And that is a true thing. So that's a four got an eight there I don't know if that's gonna do anything oh we can't have five on that oh this becomes a nine ah things are actually happening that I hadn't noticed none of those can be nine they're all on the ren band these two can't be nine so the nine in box six is placed that can't be nine now this is an eight seven six triple and this is a nine they're not nines and that's not an eight. Ooh, is that yellow or red? I know about this. This is red. Here comes some yellow and red. Yellow there, red there. And now look, this can't be red or yellow, so it's not six or seven. That is incredibly helpful suddenly. Uh, let's see if I can keep going with... Sorry about the buzzing. That is yellow. That now sees both yellow and red. That one by night's move. So that can't be six or seven. That's an eight. That's not. This sees yellow, so it's red. This is yellow. That's obvious, actually. This is eight, because it can't be six or seven. They're not eight. Uh, neither of these sees yellow yet. One of these is yellow, and it, that one sees this cell. So yellow is here, and is six or seven. Still don't know which of yellow... I haven't got a clue about which is six or seven and which is, sorry, which is six and which is seven. That, don't know, yellow, one of these is yellow, and I don't know which, that's irritating. But it does mean that this is not yellow, that's not helpful. That's not yellow, this is yellow. Ah, oh, that's very helpful. Now none of these three can be yellow, and that's yellow, that's not, that is probably able to finish off Colouring yellows, yes. That's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know what they are, but I know they're six or seven. Now, what about reds? Come on. That has to be red. It's not eight. It's six or seven. So it's red. That's red. Uh, so this has to be a nine because it sees both red and yellow. Apparently it can't be an eight. That's an eight on the Ren band. That's not nine. In fact, that sees six and seven as well. That becomes eight. This becomes nine. Could have done that from that line. Didn't see that earlier. Eight is here because it sees a nine. Can I? F yes, neither of those can be eight. I think I can finish off eights. Eight, that seems... Is that all nine eights? Yes, it is. How are we doing on nines? They must be finishable. Maybe. Yes, that's a nine, because this one's a knight's move away. That's red instead. Uh, one of these two is a nine, but there's one there, so that's a nine. Doesn't get a colour. That's a nine. And I think we might have done all the nines now. Yeah, no, there's one in the box one. It's up there, which tells us where three is, which tells us one of these two is a three, it gives us an X wing with threes there, and we end up with a three in one of these two. 
And that's weird that that doesn't disambiguate, but it doesn't. Come on, red and yellow now. Red is here. Ah! Red is on the Renban and yellow isn't. The Renban cannot be 7, 8. And it can't be 6, 7, because only one of them's on it. So therefore, this is a 6 and we've got a 5 there. Lovely. So red is 6. All of those get filled in. There's one more to go. It's here. That's red. 7 is yellow. They're all done. We're finishing off at pace suddenly here. Got a couple of eye wings at the top. 5 and 4. Now, down here, 3 and 4. Ooh, that's a weird deadly pattern at the moment. This must be a 5 in the corner. That's 4, 3, 5 there. They haven't hit the deadly pattern. Something here is going to. What have we got here? A 4 and a 3, like that. Oh, I should just tidy up some colouring that I hadn't noticed was off B. Oh, orange was, sorry, green was 4. There it is. 3 was not coloured. And 5 is orange. There we go. So that 5 was orange. That 5 is orange. 1, 2, 3. I think they're all coloured. The 4s probably aren't. That 3 is going to break up the deadly pattern. 4 and 3 there. The 4s are green. The 3s are uncoloured. Um, and we can finish now. What a lovely puzzle Petroglyph is. There we go. So that is the solution. It's a brilliant puzzle. Hope you had a go. I bet you enjoyed it if you did. Um, and I like the colouring in the end, but there we go. Use different types of colouring and indeed some pen tool. But we finished and delighted. Well done, dad jokes. Credit again. Thanks for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.